Welcome to Dashcam Info, my name is Dirk and here I have the Viofo A139 Pro, a dual channel dashcam that has the Starvis 2 sensor built in that should result in an amazing image quality by day and also by night. The first thing we see when we're opening the box is the camera, but for now let's set it aside and see what's underneath. Here we have a warranty card, a maintenance guide, some adhesive film and also the manual. I like that they included a tool for cable management. And here is our rear camera. And yes, you can rotate it after it's installed and align it to the right angle. Finally, an included polarized filter. And this is spare double-sided 3M tape for the front and the rear camera. This is a USB to USB Type-C cable. And here we have the power adapter and a very long USB Type-A to USB-C cable. And this very thin and long cable is to connect your rear camera. And now let's take a look at the main camera. Of course it's height adjustable. In front are the buttons to operate the camera. On the side we have our micro SD card slot. All ports to connect anything are on top. Looks like I'm not the only one who is excited about the polarized filter. I would recommend to insert the micro SD card before you install the dash cam. First I put a small adhesive film on the windshield and here I'm connecting the rear camera. Now I'm plugging in the USB-C cable for the power. And now it's time to remove the 3M tape and to stick the camera to our windshield. Getting the 3M tape ready was not always an easy task. Anyway, this is how I'm installing now the rear camera. Inserting the cable for the rear camera is not very satisfying because it doesn't go all the way in and it leaves a gap. If you have a newer car that doesn't have a smoker package or a USB Type-A port, you need to purchase a USB Type-A to USB-C adapter in order to source the main camera. To get the app and to connect it to your mobile phone, simply scan the QR code in the manual. Now go to settings on your phone and look for the Viofo Wi-Fi network. In order to connect it to this network, I had to disconnect my Apple CarPlay. The password for this network is 12345678. Now you can open your app and connect the camera. Opening it for the first time, I had a very strange flickering problem from the rear camera. When I closed the app and opened it again, it was gone. In order to access these settings, you have to stop the recording and now you can tap on the cogwheel and you can adjust the settings to your likings. It is very straightforward. Don't worry about the orientation of the rear camera. It really doesn't matter because in the app you can flip it. And here we do have camera footage during the day. Recording. Two channels started. Recording. One channel started. The license plates are very well readable and overall I do like the image quality coming from the Viofo A139 Pro. I also enjoy the fact that we do have a polarized filter that absorbs all the reflections coming from the dashboard. However, I had a constant issue with the rear camera cutting in and out and I do believe it's due to the cable connection. I wish they would use a USB Type-C cable for the rear camera that you can plug in 100% and it sits 100% firm. Recording. Two channels started. 
I sent my video to Viofo before publishing and I told them about the connection issues with the rear camera. They told me to update the firmware to the latest version, to unplug and replug the cable connection and also to try to stabilize the cable connection on the rear camera. I did all of this, but it did not completely resolve the issue. What I'll try next is to use a rubber strap and to tighten the cable to the rear camera in order to hold it more steadily in place. If you want to check out the read more section under my video, I will definitely update you and let you know if this was a solution that worked. Viofo also told me about a magnet ring, however I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. So, and here's some camera footage at night time. On an illuminated street by night we have very good visibility and we can clearly see all the license plates. And now let's take a look at the image quality by night at an interstate that is not illuminated. After watching the video, what are your thoughts on the Viofo A139 Pro? Is this a camera you would consider? Let me know in the comments below, I'll definitely respond. A free way to support my channel would be to leave a like and if you like my channel overall, please consider to subscribe. My next video is going to be a review about the Ventru N4 Pro, another dash cam that has the Starvis 2 sensor built in. Till then, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.